Hello everyone, God bless you. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Happy weekend to you all. Thank you so much. I so much appreciate you all for watching my video, for being here with me. I so much appreciate you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If it's not you, I will not be here to make the video. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Even though it's not more to you, but even... No negative. I don't want negative people or anything I'm doing. I love positive people. Thank you so much. You guys are so positive. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your encouragement. For even watch my video, for sharing my video is a lot. It means a lot to me. I appreciate you all so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I really appreciate you all. For sharing my video and don't forget to subscribe this is your if it's your first time watching my video don't forget to hit the subscribe button it's not difficult it's so just one touch is there is below down the video you just see it there they write it with red you just press it and there is little bell behind on it you can still press that is very important too because that bell will notify you anytime i'm there on live anytime i post my video it will notify you thank you so much for sharing my video once again the name of my youtube is do not give up on your dream joy tv mama p thank you thank you thank you so much i so much appreciate you before I start my program, I always pray to commit it into the hands of God before we start anything. Wherever you are, wherever you are watching this program for or anytime you watch the video, join me in prayer because there is no distance in prayer. Thank you so much. Heavenly Father, we thank you. King of glory, we thank you. We thank you once again. We thank you every day for the rest of our life. We thank you so much. We appreciate your, your glory and your mercy upon us. Father, I thank you for the beautiful weekend, another new great weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father. For anything I'm going to say today, oh God, I commit it into your hands to take absolute control in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone hearing the sound of my voice, I commit them into your hands to so bless them. Those that are sharing my video, bless them, O oh God. Supply their need and send their divine helper into their life, O oh God. Father, I thank everyone that watched this program. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Thank you so much for answering our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. If it's not you that watch my video, that sharing my video, I will not be here. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. I appreciate you all so much. Here in my YouTube, let me introduce myself to you once again. Here in this program, we talk about how to encourage each other to not give up on your dream. My life is a testimony. I say it every time on my video. I am Mrs. Balogunwan. Gallant Mama P1 of Dutchland. You know, thank you so much. Thank you for watching my video. I so much appreciate you all so much, so much. My life is a testimony. It's a big testimony. If I give up, I will not be here to sh tell you you should not give up. When you don't give up, sky will be your limit. Everything you want in this world will be yours. When you don't give up. You don't have to give up. Where God say you must surely be, you will surely be in that place when you don't give up. Where what God said you will surely become. When you don't give up in life, you will surely become. You will be in that position. It may be take time according to the book of Abaco, but appointed time it will speak up, it will not lie. Here is a place we encourage each other for you to not give up in your marriage, for you to not give up in your journey, for you to not give up in your business, for you to not give up in any situation around you, in that prison you are, anywhere you find yourself, for not give up and hold on on God because you are the seed of Abraham. Why you want to give up? Patience. Exercise patience, believe in Christ. That is what we talk about here. Not as to encourage you, to pray with you, to pray with because there is a lot, there is a agreement, there is power in agreement prayer. Here to study Bible together, to see what Bible talk about your situation, 
to see what God, true Bible, talk about your situation. Because a lot of us go to church, many of them don't have time to read Bible. There's a, there's, Bible is just like a mirror, nothing on this earth that is not in the Bible is there. Where you have time to study. But don't give up. That is what we are talking about here. To encourage you. To build you. To pray with you. To stand with agreement with prayer with you. To not give up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube. If you, it's the first time you are watching my or live, or live or you are watching me, my video, don't forget to subscribe. It's not difficult. Thank you. It mean, that your subscribe means a lot to me. I will so much appreciate it. Sharing my video to make a lot to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. God just called me to start this this year. It's not quite long that it will. I started very soon. I will be doing it with English and Dutch. Jamie. I will be doing it with English and Jamie. By God's grace. Very soon by special grace of God. Please share my video. And don't forget to subscribe. Sorry, let me drink a little bit tea because of cough. Uh, cough. The weather is very, very cold. <coughs> Thank you so much. God bless you. It's a little bit have a cough because of the weather. The weather is today was very, very cold. Thank you so much. God bless you as you join me, as you subscribe. It means it mean a lot, a lot to me. Those that are subscribed, already subscribed, I so much appreciate you. It's unbelievable. It was so amazing, amazing. Especially last week and this week, a lot, a lot of subscribe. I did not even expect. I really appreciate you all so much. You people encourage me to move on. You people, for your, that is a lot of support. Thank you so much. I so much appreciate your subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribe to my China. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And don't forget to follow me on my new page on Facebook. It's an amazing page that you will so much enjoy to follow. Uh, be, you, read, you will read a lot of things there that will build you, that will make you to not give up on your dream. The name of my page is Have Faith in God and Do Not Give Up. Just press like to follow me there. Thank you so much. The name of my Facebook is Galant Mama Balogu. <laughs> nah, don't too much accept friend requests there because I have so much friend requests. Almost 700 friend requests I don't accept. I don't too much accept friend requests on my Facebook anymore. But follow me on my Facebook page. Have faith in God and do not give up on your dream. Thank you so much. And follow me on my YouTube. And follow me on my Instagram. And so I will read it on my see everything on my in the information. I'm going to put everything there to follow me and be. And you will see things that I put there that will encourage you. But the one you doesn't like is you are free free to make your comment there or to write me. Oh, say mama or oh, mama P. This is not the way you're supposed to put it. This is the way you're supposed to put it. No one is above correction. I will so much appreciate you. I will so much love it. Thank you so much. Even though your comment means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. Encourage me more to do. Oh, thank you so much. And those that are sending me friend email or sending me message, calling me on a phone to really encourage me to move on. I so much appreciate you all a lot, a lot, a lot. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I really appreciate you, especially my my father in uh, father in Christ, in London. I so much appreciate you, sir. God bless you for your encouragement, the great man of God. I really, really appreciate you, Daddy. Thank you so much. I know you are going to watch this video. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, sir. Now we are going to the program. What we are going to talk about today about marriage. In my marriage, and don't forget to watch the next video. The next video is going to be amazing. How to exercise patience. We are going to talk about that. And how to treat people that is not the same country with you or is not the same color with you. How to treat them the way God wants us to treat them. Because a lot of things cause hindrance. We don't know it. We don't know that what we are doing that is not 
contain what God said may be be causing the hindrance. Thank you so much. Today we are going to talk about marriage. A lot of marriage are destroyed. Why? Because a lot of people go into marriage because they see Elizabeth or Queen just did a, a great marriage with a lot of beer, that shock, all those kind of stuff. He, he want because what he, he want to belong, he just want to marry by force and do the same thing. But he, the marriage, you don't even know where, we, he, he know anything about marriage. He just go into marriage like that. Sometimes he destroyed. If you don't take time, you know it's not the will of God. He, sometimes he, it's easy to give up. Marriage is a something that we all have to. It's a school. It's a school, don't mean that you have to go to the school or the school of marriage or those kind of things. You have to know what marriage really talk about. It's not just to jump into marriage like that. When you jump into marriage like that, it's very, very difficult. Or you, the person you are married, you don't really know anything about that person. You don't even know the background, especially we that live in diaspora. You just see somebody, you don't even know anything about the person, all those kind of stuff. You just jump into marriage at the end of it. You go there, you be say, oh, but the father, the parents, that be babala, all those kind of stuff. <laughs> all those kind of stuff. Or is this where you're not supposed to be or anything like that. That's why sometimes... Oh, the, the parents is a great man of God, or oh, is a big chief, is a this, all those kind of stuff. For you will be grateful, or you may not be grateful, you know. Sometimes we don't have to jump into marriage. You have to, your the parents that you, it's your partner that you want to marry, you have to study it. You have to, it's good to talk, you know, a discussion is very, very important. I always say that, I say it every time on my video that. Sometimes conversation is important in marriage. It's very, very important. When you don't have conversation with your partner, sometimes you don't know what is inside his mind because we human beings pretend a lot. He may be eating with you, he may be drinking with you, he may be sleeping with you every day, but inside his heart is very, very deep. He have a lot, a lot there that he's planning to do. Say, Oh, let the time call. This is what I'm going to do. We pretend to be there. But as a smart man or a woman, you will know, ah, this is, it is auto sorting, all those kind of stuff. That's why we have to do that earlier before you jump into marriage, that the marriage will not collapse. It will not be alone. It's very, very important. What we have to still know about marriage, when you want to... Before I wrote something on my war on my blog that Eba Barry sometimes we have a lot a lot of friends a lot a lot of friends when you are not married as a single man as a single woman those friends sorry because of my little bit cold talk today as a you have a lot of friends you know so I'm married so I'm not married but now you want to settle down and get married it can be a man it can be a woman you know you s don't keep all those friends if you want to make your home to be happy one number one look at all those friends the life you guys have was living before the way you people were discussing before those kind of stuff you have to separate yourself after some those kind of friends when you want to really have a home a beautiful home you know, because when you don't separate yourself or those kind of friends, you can be a woman, you can be a man. Especially, I'm talking about man, especially now. Nah? No, when you don't separate yourself for those kind of friends, you may have a very pretty wife or those kind of stuff, a beautiful woman. But your friend may be jealous. You will not know it. You may be jealous about it. So, oh, I'm the one supposed to have this kind of a beautiful lady. But he will not tell you, she, he will not tell you that he has such a, in his mind. You people will still be afraid. But he will be thinking, it, look at how he wanted to destroy your marriage. He will not tell you that he wants to scatter your marriage, he wants to destroy your marriage. Every time he call you, oh my friend, where are you? Okay, we have something to discuss together, we have business to do together. He will call you, you will go there. He will try, try, try. To make sure you stay till eight, nine o'clock or twelve o'clock in the night before you come back home. But you are you as a man, you don't really want to do that. 
because you are not a responsible man. But that your friend will try to do. Make sure you just do that for you. After before you get home, you with your wife will get a little bit quarreled. If it's a women like that that don't like that, like me, I don't like that. You know, they will like you may have quarrel with your wife or something like that. The from there is no way there is quarrel. The love will be going down a little bit. It's not the way it is before, you know. Because through that quarrel, you people will say a lot of things that you're not supposed to say. Those kind of stuff. Or if if bad friend doesn't do like that, he will be telling you, oh, it will we'll just stay with Wogoba. It's good. It's, man have to. Uh, it's supposed to test a uh, bolo. Not only a goosey, all those kind of stuff. He will be trying to say those things, but you yourself don't really want to do that because you want to be a responsible man to your family. When the man continue to be saying it, oh, sometimes he may advise on ladies because they know that you are coming there. He will invite some lady that moment to come there to visit or something like that and wherever you people went. He will go to stay or have a drink or something like that. He will invite those lady to come there. But you as a man, we don't know it. You will think those ladies just come like that. No, it may be two lady, But the other one, he may not have interest in that lady. But he just want to use it to deceive you. Deceive you. Deceive you. He will be playing with that lady or oh, this or those kind of stuff. You to follow it, to play with the other lady, to have conversation with the other lady, change telephone number, all those kind of stuff. But your wife at home, we don't know it. But when you used to call home 8 o'clock, that time you will be coming home 12 o'clock. It's not that you really want to do that because of a bad friend that you have. Because of a bad friend that you have. From there, you will be having a problem in your marriage that you don't really want to have as a responsible man. You want to build your marriage. From there, the woman will be chatting with you, all those kind of The friend will be laughing at you in, in your backside that, ah, thank God the plan is working, that it's not in the marriage is having a problem. Now you will be telling your dad the same friend, oh, my wife is naggy, my wife is like this, he want to control me, he want to do this. He will say, please, this mother, well, there's a lot of women who will be saying this to cause a lot of problem in your home. You will not know it. You will think, oh, he's a good friend that want to make your life to be good. You know? Maybe sometimes the woman, something else happened, the lady may be pregnant or something, he may not be pregnant or, you know, some lady are very, very demons. There's a lot of what may have to do. Many lady have different type of spirit that follow them. Well, so lady, you are married, but you, have, you are doing business. So lady, you will move with. Your business may be collapsed because of the spirit that follow them. You will not know it. Or a, your wife at home maybe have one spirit that his spirit is not agreed to share his husband to another man, to another lady, sorry. It may be cause hindrance in that business. You see, the thing is not moving for it. You will be thinking it's a witch in your village, is it this, is it this? No, it's what you use your heart to cause. That's why it's very, very sometimes, when, not sometimes, it's very, very important when you want to really settle down. You have to limit your friends. When the time you was not married, you have to, when you are not a married man, it's good to separate yourself from some friends. You know, when your home is break, you know, you, your, home, your wife, everything is set apart. He will be laughing at you. That time you say, yes, he plans as succeed. From there, he will, he will call, he said, we have a, a set to hold, say, oh, my wife first, my this first, my first lady first. He had destroyed your home. That's why, as a man, when you want to really settle down and have a beautiful home, there's a lot, a certain phrase that you have to avoid. There's a so phrase you have to remove out of your life. No matter how they eat, be all their body, they, you have to separate those kind of friends out of your life to make your marriage to move forward, to be successful.
to have a happy home. Because when he is not successful, you are born here and here and here. The women will not suffer it. But at the old age, it will be too much bad for you as a man. Because when you meet children of Elizabeth, you will say, go and meet children of uh, Peter. Children of uh, 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 Baba Peter. Baba Peter will say, go and meet your, meet my, uh, go and meet my, when I was not there when I was there. When I was suffering with these children, he was a go and meet. You know, the man will suffer. That's why, so tell as a man, you have to, if you really want to settle down to be a good husband to your family, a voice of friend that you are moving with. Because some friend may be pretend to destroy your home. You will think they are doing you good. Likewise with a woman too. As a woman that want to really settle down. When you are not married yet. You have a lot, a lot of friends. A single or married people. All those kind of stuff. Then when you really want to settle down. That you are a married woman. There's those friends you have to take away out of your life. To make your marriage to not give up. You will think they are best friend, they are good, you people are eating together, drinking together. They will be coming there and tell you, hey, for this modern world, stay with one man. Hey, no, for me, I, I don't do it. I can't do it. Man, who, who be the man to take, use me to do nonsense? All those kind of stuff. Those people cannot even voice their mouth, voice out where they live or under their roof. You know, you are a happy, a married lady, a married woman babe, with a beautiful case. They will try to confuse you, to destroy your marriage. You will think, oh, it's true. What? Oh, hey, see, oh, is it not the same brother? They say diaspora, is it not the same country we are living? Eh? Ah, no, I can't take that. They want to destroy your marriage because they see how happy you are. That you are so happy is every day try to always to destroy your marriage. But when you finally give up, they are the first person to laugh at you. Immediately that relationship, they will break it. Look for one thing or the other to break that relationship. They will not be your friends anymore. Because they are succeed for what they want to do. That's why when you are a married woman, you really want to settle down. When you are married, you have to have... So limit some friends that you are moving with. Not all friends. Not all meetings you have to join. So meetings are good, but not all meetings as a married woman. So meetings you join, the, your marriage will destroy it. So they play uh, church, any meeting, you have to have voice. You meeting, ah, uh, you know, the meeting, the meeting, the meeting, well, the meeting that I am, eh? They are so much responsible. Like me, I debit, of course. I debit, but they are irresponsible. All oh, they are married women. All oh, they are married women. They are responsible women. Their husband is responsible. But if they are not responsible, I will not be there. I have BT. I no before I know that it's bad for you to join BT. No. You look for the responsible one. Not the one that will take you out of your husband, that they are not responsible. That from the, uh, Peter James to Peter C, from James to Tom, from Tom to Andrew, as a married woman. No, you don't have to do that. The good lady may be doing those things because he wants you to do it, to destroy. He's the one who still set you up to destroy your marriage. If you don't go, he go another way around. He may be telling you, oh, hey, you didn't see this goat. My husband just bought this for me. When he traveled to Italy, or he traveled to, this is Italian goat. This is the Italian silver. This is the Italian goat. Hey, my husband just buy it for me for my birthday or something like that. It's lie. It may be so much li big lies. You would say, hey, oh my God. You that your husband can manage, receive salary. And go out there and buy something and give you as a holy sweetheart. Take this one. I re I just appreciate you for this this month. That so what I will use your money to go and do buy uh, Gucci. 
uh, uh, all the whole designer in the whole Italy, all Paris, all London, I give a husband to the do your people, all those kind of deceiving people. The husband will still beat on top of it. He will call to deceive you. You will think it's true. Please wise up with me. It's not, it may not be true. You can't just hear something immediately that you really want to stay husband's house and use it to conclude, oh, it's true. No. So women are just a devil that want to destroy a married couples. That is another one. The third one is that sometimes we have to know that marriage, a woman, this is for woman. Don't just look for already mates. Hey, I want to marry to a man that already making, that already have a lot of martial, that have cars. I don't want to suffer with my, all those kind of stuff. I know that some men are so grateful anyway. But any man is ungrateful. Well, 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 all the things you bear with, he always end up, with, he end up, you know, a lot of women have different spirit that you can't mess with. But it does you don't think, oh, I want to be with already men. I want to be. No, when you marry such a man, you will so you will not enjoy the marriage because you are not there. You just you don't even know where the, he will tell you. Did you know how he make his money? Do you know how this thing stands? You don't know it. You don't have mouth there. You think child juju will work? Not every man juju work. For me, I don't believe those stuff. If you use it for me, it doesn't work. That's why I can't use it for anybody. Because if I use it, it don't work. If you use it for me, it don't work. Not everybody. Everybody, you have, you, the Christ Jesus will be, be behind of that man. Even though you use it, it work. There is certain time that it will clear. It will be like someone that drink when he drink clear out of his face. It will kick you out. Try as a we as a woman to you go so tired. The real husband that God really worked hard for you may not have anything the time he makes you. He may have nothing. He may not have nothing, but that is your husband that God wants you to marry. Through you, he will be that man will, the God will open his door. He will be blessed. Have everything that you people build to is built together. You people trust each other together. It's very, very important. You know, marriage is important. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing that we all have to do. But hey, dear us, we have to lay her to exercise patience in marriage. Respect each other. You have to respect your wife. Your wife has to respect, respect you as a husband. A husband has to respect your wife. That is very, very important. Understand it. Don't say you marry first thing was so attractive to you, and then after that is not attractive to me anymore. Let your wife to be attractive to you 24 hours every day. What you like with another lady outside, let your wife to be dressing like that. Buy go outside and buy that and give to your wife. You know. Way is not there, things is not there like the way it's supposed to be. Exercise patient and don't give up, don't quit. You people have to join her together, work together, and open her together in truth. Don't hide the hiding things. When you are hiding things for your husband, or your husband is hiding things for you, at the end of it, he will surely collapse. You can't use lies to build a relationship forever. No, it don't work that way. Please, we have to know really what Mary talk about. Let me read um, read so little be one verse or two verse to I don't have too much half time to finish the video. Next time we're going to finish the video about what bar we have to know what marriage really talk about. See what God said in my book of Genesis about marriage is a familiar Bible that we all we all know. We all know this verse is a very familiar Bible it's in Genesis two, verse eighteen. If I will see it, is too small. It's really really small. 
18. He said that the Lord God said, the man should not be a law. You see, he said, God don't want man to be alone or want a woman to be alone. The day God created a man, he created his wife the way he created Adam and Eve. But we have to pray to God to not miss our real husband, for you to not miss your real husband. You That's why sometimes you say you think you have a child with this so it may not be the real person, but when the real person come, he don't care who you really are, how many kids you have, or he will still love you the way you are. He met you. He says it's not good for a man or woman to be alone. There's a lot of Bible that talk about marriage that say why Bible never say wife love your husband. He say husband love your wife as Christ loved the church. As a husband, you have to always show that love for your husband, wife. No matter what. The same Bible that says, don't let some go. Don't, let, don't sleep with your anger. You see, you don't see some things he dress. You don't know what is causing it. Because of you don't do what God said. If you are angry with your wife or those kind of stuff, you go down, with, you go to bed with it, you wake up with it, you go to bed with it. He said, don't go to bed with anger. He said, love your wife any time, any day, the way Christ loved the church. You know, you have to love your wife. Only what Bible says, say, wife, submit to your husband. Respect your husband. When you submit to your husband, the love with you, you husband, love your wife. To be loving another lady outside, pour all the whole love and use it to love your wife. It's very, very important. When you love, you really show a woman love. No woman will see a man that really show, I don't know, but for me, I think, no woman or a, that a man really love and the honest and show that love. You know the meaning of love. Not just to say, I love you, I, you love me because you cook better soup today, I love you, uh, you, uh, you give, do this today, I love you. No, his Bible is not talking about that love. And gave a love, unconditional love. You don't have the reason. You, you just love the person the way he is. He they are attractive to you every day. I respect the woman you married. I respect the husband you marry. And what I said that before in my last video, when you really want your marriage to start to not give up, avoid people in your uh, family, people in your marriage. Not everything that happen you bring out to your friends or mother-in-law or father-in-law or brother-in-law or sister-in-law in both sides. Don't let people to know how you live in your marriage. You know, that is very, very important. It's better that they say they don't even know how this couple live. They are so happy every day. It's more important. Thank you so much. You are not too much have time for this. Again, because I'm going to make this, if I say I should finish it, it will so much long. I'm going to make the video, I'm going to finish the video another day. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you are blessed with it. We have to learn how to respect each other as a husband and wife. To treat each other, to avoid some bad friend that will destroy our marriage. Thank you, thank you so much. God will make us our marriage to stand. We live we our with our husband, husband and wife. We live together. Then we enjoy the fruit of their labor and learn how to forgive each other and move forward and don't set up and bad people will not come into your marriage to destroy it. With their lies, with their negative talk in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much and remain blessed and put God first in your marriage. In Jesus name. Amen. Don't forget to share my video. Thank you so much as you share my video. and uh, Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my video. I really appreciate your subscribe to keep me alive. And keep me move forward. Your subscribe one subscribe your one subscribe mean a lot a lot to me those that subscribe to my youtube i so much appreciate you all so much so much i really appreciate you all this youtube is not to is i just start it's not quite long that god just asked me to be doing it you know it's it's not quite long but i really appreciate your subscribe and share my video 
Thank you so much. Share it on WhatsApp. Share it to anywhere, any blog that you never know who is out there that really need the message. You may not need it, but someone out there need it. Thank you so much. I remain blessed. I so much appreciate you all. Have a beautiful weekend. I was my once again. The name of my YouTube is Do Not Give Up on Your Dream. Joy TV, Baba P. Uh, follow me on my Instagram. Uh, follow me on my new uh, new Facebook uh, page. My Facebook page is just new. That is so amazing. I have a lot of testimony there. Just follow me there. The name of the page is. Have faith in God and do not give up on your dream. Never give up. Just have faith in God. Thank you so much. I so much, so much love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This program is for everybody. Muslim, you are welcome. Christian, you are welcome. Anything you believe, you are welcome. Thank you so much. I remain blessed and have a beautiful weekend. Bye.